China would like to realize its carbon neutrality targets by 2060. Entering the 25th century, China has transformed from a backward source of industrial pollution to a global pioneer in green energy. Lucid waters and lush mountains are invaluable assets. China is achieving its National Sustainable Development Goal. Lei Yang, could you please tell us more about that? At present, China ranks first in the world in terms of installed capacity of renewable energy, including hydroelectricity, wind power, and solar power. In addition to the encouraging intensive use of renewable energy, China is also actively building an all-round energy supply, including engineering projects such as the Webster Yeast Gas and Electricity Transmission Project. China has independently researched and developed hydroelectricity, wind, and photovoltaic projects with higher efficiency, which make renewable energy more accessible throughout the country. What is the current electricity composition in China? As of April 2022, China's electricity is mainly from thermal power generation, which counts for 55% of the installed capacity. This is like the current situation in Germany. It is worth noting that China's current installed capacity of renewable energy has reached 43%, which is also very outstanding internationally. China is implementing a balanced development of hydroelectricity, wind power, and solar power. For China to achieve its goal of carbon neutrality, the proportion of China's internal capacity of renewable energy will need to increase rapidly in the next decade. How far is China from achieving its carbon neutrality goal? According to our calculations, China's and new carbon emissions from industries other than power industry will drop to 5 billion tons by 2060. In terms of carbon sequestration, we believe that China's forest coverage will reach the world average level by 2060, with a forest area of 280 million hectares, assuming 30 tons of carbon dioxide captured per hectare of forest per year. We calculate that the annual carbon dioxide fixation of China's forests in 2060 will be about 8.4 billion tons. Therefore, to achieve carbon neutrality in 2060, it is necessary to limit the carbon emissions of the power industry by 3.4 billion tons. At present, this figure is 4.9 billion tons. This shows that China still needs to further increase its renewable energy install capacity. What are the investment opportunities in the renewable energy industry in China? The realization of carbon neutrality in China requires support from various industries. The most critical ones will be the improvement of the industrial capacity of renewable energy. Since hydroelectricity generation is restricted by geographical conditions, Project cost for nuclear power is large and the economic efficiency is relatively weak. And at present, the cost of biomass energy is too high to be applied on a large scale. Therefore, considering the economic efficiency and universality of energy development, wind power and solar power will be an important development direction for China's power industry in the future. By April 2022, the proportion of installed capacity of wind and solar power in China has raised 14% and 13% respectively. We expect that these two figures will increase exponentially in the next 5 to 10 years. What is the current position of HSI China Fund in this field? As one of the first Swiss mutual funds to invest exclusively in Chinese equity market and thanks to our local presence in Hong Kong, HZ Group has unique insight into China's long-term development plan. A few years ago, we began to invest in renewable energy-related sectors in China. At present, we have positioned in hydroelectricity, solar power, wind power, energy storage, new energy vehicle and other related sectors. 
Our holding in this sector accounts for about one quarter of our fund portfolio. We are pleased to see China's plan and implementation of its strategy towards carbon neutrality, and we are convinced to deliver stable long-term returns to our fund investor along the way through our investment. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and hope to see you again in the next episode.